thank you so much for joining me on my channel the butterfly effect huge shout out to my day ones on my foundation subscribers uh, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you I encourage you to please share like and of course subscribe to all of my new subscribers thank you thank you so much you are appreciated and if you're checking me out like I said for the first time and this reading resonates with you that is awesome smash that like button if not that's cool I'll click the notification button I'm sure spirit will have something for you at another point in time or feel free to book me for a personal reading all that information and more is located inside my description box okay so gems I thought I would do something just a little bit different today so today uh, I'm going to be looking at the karma that uh, for an energy that you were dealing with so whatever this person did I want to know what their karma is and I'll let you know what their karma is and what uh, what's coming towards you now in the near future okay so cards have already been shuffled and drawn and we have here seven of wands in reverse mm -hmm. so this is for this person's karma and for what they did to you you have three of cups in reverse so this is like someone had a third party on you someone could have been overindulging i feel like for some of you you were dealing with someone who they were treating you like an option mm -hmm. But it looks like, Gemini, you've been going through this, or you were, this was like a, what is it, like a repetitive cycle with somebody. Mm -hmm. Because it was like you kept doing the same thing with someone, and someone kept coming to you with the same thing. Yeah. And it was just this cycle of no love. This person did not show you love. This person was not trying to uh, bring a new beginning into your life nothing it was just the same shit different day all the time with this person it's a, it could have been a situation where you were with someone and then they cheat on you you get back together uh you think things are going good they put on this little song and dance for like a week or two and then they go back to the same shit right you find out about someone else or something else for some of you in this collective um you know how i stay already straight no chase up this person had a child on you with somebody else mm -hmm. or they lied to you uh, there is a masculine in this collective where someone told you that the child was yours and you found out that it wasn't. Mm -hmm. For some of my feminines in this collective, you were with someone who cheated on you and had a baby with somebody else. And this person, they didn't show you love. But you know what it is? They couldn't show you love because they don't love themselves. So they can't, um, they can't give you something they don't have. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you were in a, this was a karmic connection. It's all karma. We're all learning, right? But you were, could have been with a karmic soulmate because you were supposed to learn something here. Mm -hmm. There's lessons, like big lessons on this table. Look at this. You have wisdom in reverse. This is a major arcana. You have three major arcanas. This was a karmic soulmate. Wisdom, love in reverse. And child, this is like new beginnings in reverse. So it's like every time you got back with this person, that new beginning that you thought you were going to have, it was never really there. Mm -hmm. You could have been dealing with someone where you experienced a lot of delays, someone that didn't appreciate you. Uh, some of you were dealing with someone who drank a lot or they liked to drink. Mm -hmm. But this person could have been very superficial. I'm hearing shiny thing syndrome. So as soon as they thought that there was someone else better or they could do better, they would be gone. And when that shit, when that, I guess, when that plane crashed or when that didn't work out, that situation didn't work out, they want to come back to you and act like, oh, let's do this again. Let's try this again. And Gemini, I'm not here to tell anyone what to do. I just, me personally within myself, if I am not your number one choice, I'm not going to be a choice for you. I will just take myself off the plate, off the table because especially with an energy like this, this is, um, you know what I kept hearing? There's a song by Pitbull and, um, and Sean Paul. Um, baby, I got options. But baby, you the, no, I got, I got options. But baby, you the top one. So this person, when they go around thinking that they have options and realize they don't have shit, they want to come back to you all the time. And you would take them back. 
It's like you're that go-to person. Um, it's like when things didn't work out for them, they go back to you, get themselves together, and then they go back out into the world again. Like you're that person. You were that person to them. And Spirit's like, cut that shit out. Cut it out. These are all major arcanas. It was like uh, the longer you stayed with this person, the more you would just be repeating the same cycles. The longer you stayed with this person, the more you would... Uh, I feel like for some of you, you lacked self-love within yourself. That's why you kept repeating cycles with this person. That's why you kept letting them do these things. Like, uh, I'm hearing, sacrifice your new beginnings. Yeah? Someone, in, you were dealing with someone as well who... They were here to trigger your uh, inner child wound so that you could deal with these things. This person was here to force you to look at the fact that you don't love yourself enough or you don't recognize that you need to love yourself. Because after dealing with something like this, you have no choice. Mm -hmm. It's like someone will fuck with you so much you get tired of it and you start actually doing something about it. That's what this person was here to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did. So what's this person's karma? Y you know what it is? It's like, um, you want to be upset with them? I'm not, I don't like w what I see here in these cards with how this person dealt with you. But at the same time, it was like, I'm, I'm happy that they taught you this. It's just, it sucks the way how they did it, you know? It's about us learning how to, um, learning how, learning things are learning life lessons in higher ways now. It doesn't have to be shit hits the fan and gets all over buddy, everybody or you're on your face before you realize that maybe I shouldn't have went that route. You can catch things from before mm -hmm. and make necessary adjustments or you can, um, or they say, you look at something, look at the past experience with something or somebody and you can uh, draw inferences from that. You know, you can make an educated guess. You know, or make a decision based off, I know this person's going to fuck me over. They always fuck me over. So I'm not going to fuck with them this time. You know, something like that. So there were some major life lessons that you were supposed to learn with this person. Because this person, Gems, I'm just going to say it straight. They would always do this with you. No matter what, they're always going to do this. Because until you learn this and stop this, stop dancing with this person, they would just keep doing it. That's what they were supposed to do in your life that's what they were contracted to do now because of what this person kept doing you have seven of wands in reverse this is this person's karma they're not going to be able to move forward triumphantly in their life ah okay so this is what it is it's like flip now so where you were giving um giving to this person where you were very generous to this person where you were very kind to this person mm-hmm where you were looking at this person like they were uh, wish fulfillment for you. Like you could be happy and things are just falling into place. Some of you, you had really good sex with this person, right? This is their karma. Their karma is to give to people and be kind to people and look at people that they think they can have wish fulfillment with without even thinking about it. So it's like what you were doing with them is what they're going to be doing with other people who are not even going to be thinking about them. The people they're going to deal with, they're not going to uh, have consideration for them, compassion for them. They're not going to care about them. The same way how they didn't fucking care about you, that's what they're going to get right back. I'm just going to say it straight. Okay? So this person's going to experience a lot of ha um, delays in life now. Yes, they are. Uh, they're going to experience a lot of losses as well. And it's because they're not going to be able to make solid decisions on people. It's like being blindfolded. So they keep giving to people and trying to move forward with people the same way how you kept giving to them and trying to move forward with them. And these people are not going to give two fucks. Zero fucks given about them. Mm -hmm. This person's going to experience a lot of anxiety and embarrassment. When this person embarrassed you by going out and having a baby with somebody else, or um, fr fr uh, what am I hearing? A fake pregnancy scare. That's what I was hearing. This is what they're going to be experiencing. Everything that this person did to you, they're going to get back. Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective, you're going to deal, you're going to, um, you may find out that this person, they're going to have a lot of embarrassing episodes. Someone could have a drinking problem, 
I'm seeing someone that drinks themselves into a drunken stupor and just goes around acting a fool. Like a straight up fool. They're falling off of bar stools, getting into bar fights, getting into fights with people, arguments with people about nothing. Someone passes out beside their car, right? And it's like the police come in and are like poking them. I see someone being poked with like those baton sticks. Like, oh, yo, what's up? Get up. What are you doing? Like someone, uh, oh boy. You know what I just heard? I heard, uh, what is it? Jiminy Crickets and a series of unfortunate events. Oh boy. This person's life is not going to be good. Where they thought they were going to be tri triumphant and have success and have victory, they ain't having shit. Where this person thought they were going to be able to overcome obstacles, no, they're not. They're going to experience a lot of delays, a lot of challenges, mm -hmm. a lot of misfortune, mm -hmm. Whatever they gain, they're going to lose. To lose, any success that they thought they had, they're gonna realize that it was false. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be put at a disadvantage in life as well. And for some of you, you're gonna find that this person, they're gonna lose a lot of opportunities. They're gonna miss opportunities. And uh, I keep hearing negotiation. Someone's gonna lose some type of negotiation if someone is bidding on a house or um, they're trying to get uh, some financing for something, it's not going to go through. No, it's not. This person's going to put a lot of time and effort and energy into someone or something, and it's not going to pan out for them because they're not thinking. No, they're not. And the people that they're dealing with, they're not thinking about them. They don't care about them. And that's their karma. And that really sucks. And look at this. Like I said, the karma of the person and what's coming towards you, you have justice. Justice gems. Yes, you are getting your karma justice for this. The universe was not sleeping on you for what you went through with this person. What is your justice? You investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. You investing in um, learning how to master yourself. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you need to work on not being in your feelings about this situation with this person. I just heard for some of you spirits like this is done, dead, and gone. Let it go. Uh, then you have, this is what I call my reconciliation card. But this, I feel like this is you. When you work on not being in your feelings and mastering yourself, you reconcile with yourself. So your justice is you learning how to be good with you. And when I say good with you, I mean learning how to love yourself. Right? You want this to be this way. Learning how to love yourself. Learning how to move forward into new beginnings, yes. Some of you, Spirit wants to bless you with a child from a better relationship, though. Mm -hmm. And you learning how to exercise wisdom once you learn how to master yourself. And what is wisdom? Wisdom comes from experience. So it's you've been there, done that, and what do you do differently now because of what you've learned? Yes? So what? that's your justice. That's your karmic reward. That is going to balance the scales out. For you, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Spirit, do you have any more messages? Do you have any more messages for Gemini? What else is coming towards Gemini? I just really like this, that you're getting your just rewards. Gems from what was done to you. And this is just the way of the universe letting you know that the universe was not sleeping on you. <coughs> Excuse me. The universe hasn't forgotten you. You are loved, supported, and protected. And things are going to work out in your favor. Now, for this person in the past, though, not so much. Not so much. Mm -hmm. Someone that wasted your time, they're getting their time wasted now. They're having their time wasted now. Your justice is for you to move forward on a new journey. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. A new journey with you loving yourself, knowing yourself, knowing your worth, valuing yourself. Mm -hmm. Moving forward. Look at this. Ugh, wow. This is, um, these are two major arcanas. You have a lot of major arcanas, um, Gemini. You have a lot of um, major changes happening in your life. This is destiny in reverse, by the way. So spirits like you have, you're on a new journey. And that's what I was picking up. I'm surprised the um, death and rebirth card wasn't here. Because you are no longer moving forward with this person. And this person is not supposed to be in your life anymore. And that's justice. You cutting them off. And cutting them out and moving forward in your life for yourself by yourself look at that that just flew out that just flew out mm -hmm. these people that would talk about you these people that would give you bad advice mm -hmm. 
I'm hearing fuck boy and fuck girl. Oh boy. But these people that pretended to know shit and they didn't know anything, mm -hmm, because they kept doing the same shit over and over again. Spirit's like, cut these people out of your life now. <coughs> Excuse me. Cut them right off. Cut them right out. They're not supposed to be a part of your journey anymore. Wow. Okay, okay. That's your justice. Them not being able to have any type of access to you. That's your justice, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You get emotional enlightenment. You get enlightenment. These are those epiphany moments where you're like, wait a minute. I can do fucking better than you. I don't need you in my life. Mm -hmm. This is also balancing, right? If you see the black and white, this is balancing. Yeah. This is justice. Where you get that epiphany moment where you realize that you can do better all by yourself. Oh, wow. Oh boy, gems. Oh boy. Mm hmm. Look at this. This is Queen of Air in reverse. Spirit wants you to stay away from people that are, like I said, they're in their feelings. Mm hmm. They're clouded. Their judgment is clouded. They don't think clearly. They just do shit without thinking about it. Yes. Remember earlier, this person, that's what they're going through now. That's their karma. To do things without thinking about it. To continue. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Sorry. Let me get some water here. For you to um, move forward. But this person, they're going to keep... I feel like this person is just going to stay on this karmic cycle just without you. And that's their karma. And that's your karma for you to move forward and this person to be stuck. This person is going to be stuck in their feelings. Like I said, they're going to have poor judgment. The same way how they weren't thinking about the things that they did with you is the same way how they're not thinking about the things that they're doing with themselves. Mm -hmm. And people are not going to be thinking about what they do with them. Or how they deal with them. But someone's going to be stuck in their head. Yes. And someone's going to be in their feelings. Wow. Okay, okay. Spirit, any more messages for Gemini? Any more messages for Gemini? Yes. Oh, look at this. This is another major arcana. This is you seeing the bigger picture of things. Like I said, those are those aha moments when you're like, you know what? Something's fucking wrong with you. And I ain't fucking with you no more. Mm hmm You start to see that you need to focus on yourself. That it would be wise to focus on yourself. Focus on whatever you're mastering for yourself. Some of you, this is not just about you mastering your feelings. This is about you mastering your physical world as well. Uh, so make you learning how to make sure that your I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. Mm -hmm. You being in your truth about what you really want for your life, that is justice. Because like I said, things are going to be working out for you and they're not going to be working out for this person. And I feel like spirit wants this person to see you do very well. Look at this. This is you being in your truth. This is you knowing what you want for yourself. This is like you having your own ideology, and that is your own belief systems. It's not, your judgment's not clouded by anyone. You're not being influenced by anyone or anything. Everything that you're doing, it comes from you. It comes from what you want to do with your life. That's absolutely awesome. That's awesome, Gemini. Wow. So can I get one more card for what this person's karma is? One more clarifying card for what this person's karma is? Let's put the deck here. Wow. This person's going to have a lot of bad memories. Right? And that's usually hap that's usually what happens when you don't think about what you do. It's like um, you're not accepting or you're not, you're not being accountable for the consequences of your actions. So this person, they're going to go around creating a lot of bad memories or they're going to have a lot of, I'm hearing, and I'm feeling like a sour taste in my mouth. Someone is going to... Their experiences are going to leave a bitter taste in their mouth. That's what their karma is as well. So where this person thought that they were going to run off into the sunset and have a good life after the bullshit that they did to you? No. Oh, no. This person, it's, it's like they're not going to have anything to celebrate for a while. Mm -hmm. For a while. Because spirit's going to let them keep running on that treadmill like a hamster and think about the things that they've fucking done. Yeah. It's because when they start thinking about it, then they're going to start doing something different. That's their karma. 
Oh boy. Gems, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. I apologize, I'm just getting over a small cold right now. Uh, so I thank you for bearing with me. Uh, but thank you for checking out the reading. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.